everyone, it's Krista and welcome to my channel. Today it is Mixed Media Frenzy and I we are going to be using this layout you see in the upper right hand corner, which is super cool. And I am going to first use clear gesso on my white cardstock to get it prepped for any stamping or mixed media, watercolors, whatever have you that I may use on my paper. And it'll just help to seal the paper so that nothing seeps through. So I use the white gesso and I'm just scraping it on with my little scraping spatula. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm going to use, um, first I'm going to mark where I'm going to put my photo with some pencil marks. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use this Lindsay um, Stamp Gang. I got this um, from a Hip Kick Club collection. Uh, it was a color kick a while back and it's Cockabell Coral. And it's kind of like a red color. It's super bright red. And I am just going to go in with my um, paintbrush and I'm just gonna kind of dab it a little bit because I don't want to do a lot of this color on here. I just want a little bit of it sticking out from around my photo. Just kind of peeking out from behind the photo. So I'm gonna do a little bit on the bottom, a little bit on the sides, the top. And then I'm going to do a little bit in the cluster that I'm going to put on the right hand side of my photo as well like you see in the layout there. And then I'm going to go in and do some splatters as well with this red color. Not too much. I didn't want to make this look like a bloody scene or something. So I didn't use too much. Um, you have to be really careful when you use red um, I think because you don't want it to be too much red because um, then it just looks sort of crazy to me with too much red. So I just went in and did a few splatters and that's all really the um, color I'm going to use on the paper. And then you're going to see me come in now with some textured paste. This is by Ranger. It's a crackle paste and I got it on scrapbook.com and I'm going to go in with my Heidi Swap stencil. I love this stencil. And I'm going to use the only the star part of this stencil. And I'm just going to scrape it on top of the red. And what this paste does is it will crackle after it dries, which is super cool fact, effect to it. And also some of the color will seep through it too. So it, it's going to look really cool once it dries, but you won't really be able to tell in my video, unfortunately. Um, but it's, it looks cool, I promise you. So now I'm going to do some over here for my little cluster that I'm going to put in this right hand side. And once that dries, I am going to go in now with this little strip that I had. It's I have some karate stickers that I have left over from previous layouts that I've done. And I decided to use the strip that I had. And I'm just going to glue that down. And it's got the black, the red, and the white in it which is perfect. And I thought that it fit with the photo just great because that's their colors they have on. And the picture is a picture, sorry, I forgot to tell you this. The picture I'm using is a picture of my son who is a third degree black belt and teaches karate school. He is an instructor and my two girls um, who are taking karate now and they are now camel belts. And it was at their testing and they just got their camel belt. So I took a photo of them, all three of them, together because their brother was so proud of them. And now I'm going to go in with these Bow Bunny stamps. Now all these stamps I'm using are Bow Bunny. And these look like little stitches like that you would use in a sewing machine. And that's what this stamp is. And I have a couple different ones on here. And I end up using that one that you just saw. And then I end up using this thicker one which kind of has a, a little bit thicker stitch to it. And I'm going to stitch that on the other side of that um, stripe that you saw me um, glue down. And I just keep going in and I'm just working with it and trying to figure out where I want to put the stamping um, for my layout. I didn't want to do it exactly like their layout because mine is a little bit different. It's about karate. So I used a few different things like um, compared to theirs. And I'm also going to use this other cool bow bunny stamp. It kind of looks like, I don't know how to explain it. 
it kind of looks like, um, it's supposed to be like flames coming out, but mine's going to be black ink. And, um, I used it to kind of anchor my photo and I stamped that down. And now I'm going to use this other little piece that I cut off of that piece there. And I just going to stick it here on my little cluster that I'm going to do in this area. And I'm also going to come in with a little bit of the stamping in that cluster as well with the stitching stamp. And now I'm going to come in with this stamp as well from Bow Bunny. <laughs> and it's just, it's kind of like a mixed media stamp. Um, it's not really anything. It's just kind of lines um, that are kind of crisscrossing. And I really gives it a cool effect when you stamp down. Now this one I didn't stamp down that well. So I kind of missed a little bit. So I stamped it again. And I didn't want it to be perfect. I want it to be imperfect because you want it to get, have that messy, grungy look to it. And now I'm just doing a few little spots um, in that little cluster I'm gonna do there. So then I had this karate um, ribbon that I found at, I think it was Michael's a while back. So I decided to use the ribbon on here too, and I'm just gonna put a little piece kind of going across, kind of connecting to um, that other cluster that I'm going to build on the right hand side of my photo. So I'm just going to glue that down and then I'm going to come in and I have this karate chipboard. Now all this stuff I bought online, this karate stuff. So if you are looking for it, um, I highly suggest you purchase it online. I think I got mine on Pinterest. I got through somehow, I can't even remember. I got it such a long time ago. But I also used that dragon stamp that you saw, which I thought was super cool. And now I'm going to use these um, stars, they're wood veneers, and I just dipped them in my Versamark um, ink. And now I'm going to use some of this really glittery um, black um, embossing powder that I have. And it kind of sparkles a little bit. And I'm just gonna heat it. And I'm gonna use those instead of the buttons that you see in the um, layout there, I'm going to use those um, stars that I embossed. And then I had this um, washi tape and they do have some washi tape in there. So I decided to stick this washi tape. They're kind of like crosses and I thought it went really cool on the side there of my photo. And I'm just gonna put a little underneath here to kind of complete my cluster there and now I'm going to come in with my embossed um, veneers that I did and this red chipboard um, piece that I had as well um, star and now I'm just going to um, put some craft foam on the back of my photo to kind of pop it up a little bit I want it to pop out a little bit kind of stand out and then you'll see me come in and I'm gonna glue down those wood veneers that I embossed and I'm gonna put the star in the corner here and then those three stars going across. First I'm gonna do the red one and then the two black ones that I embossed next to those. And I figured these, this would be better with my layout because um, the buttons kinda of really wouldn't have made sense for my layout. So I decided to go this route and I really love the way it turned out. I mean, it really turned out super cool. And this is a cool way to do a karate layout um, if you're looking for neat ways to do different things. I'm always thinking outside the box with my karate layouts because it's really hard to find karate um, things out there. Um, for some reason, you can't find stickers, you can't find anything. And it's very frustrating. <laughs> So I find other ways to make my karate layouts. So now what I did is I um, just used some water and put it with my um, acrylic black paint and watered it down. And I just came in and did some black splatters just to give it final touches. And that's it. And that is my layout. So I hope you guys like it. I think it turned out super cool. I really love the texture paste and the colors and just everything fits so, so well. 
So um, don't forget to check out the other ladies. I will have their links down below. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. Just hit that red subscribe button. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And remember, stay crafty. Bye.